does RFM mean? Well, the first concept and probably the most important is recency. Okay, and recency, like it sounds, is the concept that when did we last hear from you? Okay, it could be activity, more likely it's purchase. Okay, there's almost an endless variety of things that we can figure out related to time. We have some of our clients use time between purchases right here and say, okay, what is that average? You know, is, is it a, is a and, and of course, right off the bat, it, it, you know, when we started building that, it, it worked great, but part of it was because it only applied to multi-buyers. So you have to be careful with some of these things. They, they give you unintended uh, benefits because of other reasons. Anyway, so, Generally, people will have scores, and we're gonna have a special session on scores, but they'll keep track of who bought in the last three months, who bought in the last uh, six to 12 months, who bought in the last three to six months, you know, categories like that. I have clients that go out 10 years, I have clients that go out two years. Depends a little on what they're doing. And I had one client, and we'll talk about them next time, that was only going out 12 months and to catastrophic results almost. Anyway, so the first concept is recency. The second concept is frequency. Now, frequency, again, pretty self-explanatory. Um, how many times you bought? One time, two time, three time, etc. It's not a hard concept to understand, um, although there can be all kinds of nuances to it. We can keep track of the frequency that we've contacted you, which is an excellent idea, especially in, the, in this world of very, very low cost per contact, blast email spamming and texting and all kinds of other things. Um, we can also keep track of your comments in big data. We have, you know, who, who put how many posts on our site, etc. Not many people that I know use that, but it is something that I have read about being used. Okay, so frequency is the number of times that you bought. And then monetary. And this one sounds even more straightforward. How much did you spend? But of course, we run it uh, a number of different ways. We run it with profitability. We run it with gross margin. Depends on where how you calculate it. We run it with even a net profit where we take out the idea uh, of order processing charge and restocking charge. So we had an apparel, menu, or a apparel cataloger and we found a segment of their customers that was very, very responsive. Tremendously high response rates and high return rates. And it turned out those guys were more expensive than the non-responders. So again, monetary can be calculated a number of different ways. Most people just say, okay, we're just gonna keep track of the amount of money they spent, regardless of margin, which I think is probably not optimal. But as I said, a lot of simple ways that you can run this thing. And so that builds you the basic RFM. Now, when you're applying this, we typically do some kind of scoring. Again, we'll do another video on the scoring. But oftentimes, people will say, you know what? It's really the most important because we know they're alive is recency. But then you say to yourself, well, you know, it's one thing to, to not mail the people you haven't heard of in a long time if they only order once, if they didn't spend much. But what are we going to do if they bought a bunch of times and they spent a lot? But they're very low recency. I have an article, What to Do with the 111s. One, one, I'll put a link on the video for you there. And, um, and those questions come up. And so these, these extra variables help you to nuance this one that you know, is perfectly, you're perfectly capable of running a pretty big company with that. But these things add, add force to it. And again, we're gonna talk about that a little more when we get into the scoring and maybe even touch on the modeling. But for the moment, we're gonna say recency, frequency, monetary. What oftentimes people will do is they'll take the score, let's say we'll do five, four, three, two, one. For the very recent are five, the ones who spent the, the most often are fives and the most money is a five. Whatever that scale is, again, we'll talk about it. But these guys oftentimes will be three X times the score. These guys will be two X and these guys will be one X, okay? so. 
well, even though this is important, especially in consumer, you know, you can say, well, that customer spent tens of thousands of dollars with us. Yeah, that's great, but if they're dead, no, no offense, you know, but if they're dead, if they're really dead, uh, or the, you know, they really don't like you anymore, this will tell that to you a little better, no matter how much money they spend. Although most of our clients will take some action if they have high monetary and treat them a little bit differently as they get further down the recency score. But if you were just going to do a poll and you did this kind of thing, you said, well, I'm going to, I'm going to talk to these customers that are most recent and whatever your budget, you can scale it up and down. You can see that this would give you a very nice way to pare down your contact cost. It's especially good with like telesales, okay, where it's relatively expensive. But to pare down, so you got 10 million customers, you just want to get to the best, you want to get the, and so the first mailing, you might just take the fives of recency, and the five, five, fives. And the next one, you take the five, four, four, five, actually, five, five, four, five, four, four, <laughs> four, five, five, four, four, five, you know, et cetera. Um, and then when these multiply out, of course, this would, a five would be a 15, and this would be a 10, and this would be a five. So the net out would be 30, would be the possibility. Now I have people who want to index it to 100. So they'll multiply the whole thing times three. So that'll be a 90, the best ones are nines. Or they'll multiply by 3.3, .3. they get 99s. They have 99s, if they have a five by five. Then they have. It doesn't really add any information, but it's sometimes easier to keep track of. So. This is just a very, very top of the waves, recency, frequency, monetary. If your company is growing and you've been in business a little while, you may want to take a look at that and figure out how you can, you know, you can target, just start to target your best customers and give you the best, uh, obviously the best likelihood of profitability. I'm John Miglosh. Thanks for watching. Have fun with your data.